Hi, everybody. This week's Parsha of Ayakel includes primarily a description of how all the requirements for the construction of Mishkan, as described in Truma Titzaveh, were faithfully and loyally carried out. But there is a small part of Parsha of Ayakel which deals with the laws of Shabbat. As we know, the laws of the word Shabbat is made up of three letters, Shin, Beit, Tav. And one of the rabbis suggested that those letters may be, in fact, an acronym. Shin, Shena, Bet, Bishabbat, Taf Ta'anug. Having a nap on Shabbat is a pleasure. Not just a pleasure, but may constitute the positive fulfillment of a command of owning Shabbos, doing things on Shabbos that brings one pleasure and enjoyment. There's a story told of the great Rosh Yeshiva that Rechaim Volozhin, who was walking through the Yeshiva on one Shabbos, and noticed a group of boys who were sitting and talking, but not about Torah, about other topics. And the Rosh Yeshiva was concerned that perhaps their conversation would drift off into areas that were inappropriate. So he reminded them that the word Shabbos stands for Shab- Shabbat Tanug, encouraging them to go have a nap and, of course, thereby perhaps prevent anything inappropriate. To which one of the smart Alec boys in the group said, But Rebbe, Shin Beitav could also stand for Sicha B'Shabbat Ta'anug. Conversation is okay on Shabbat. To which the Rosh Yeshiva answered by quoting a, pr- a pasuk from Kohelet. Lev Chacham Limino, Lev Ksil Lismolo. That the heart of a wise man leads him in the right direction and the heart of a foolish person leads him in the left direction. What Rosh Yeshiva was saying, if you take a look word Shabbat or Shena, the first letter, if you put the dot on the right side, you would pronounce the word Shena. But if you put the dot on the left side, yes, it in fact could be Sicha, the scene conversation, meaning it's smarter to do those things that bring us fulfillment of positive commands than to perhaps endanger ourselves by doing things possibly inappropriate. Having a Shabbos shluf is definitely a good thing. Enjoy your Shabbos nap. It's a Torah thought. It only takes a moment. Shabbat Shalom, everybody.